What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, aka Benny P. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be building this beautiful thing behind me, which is a brand new trading hall design. And this one is stackable, and it's actually stackable up to build limit if you do uh, water elevators instead of uh, stairs like I do here. But that's totally up to you guys. Uh, this one over here, I just kind of built for inspiration on what you can do with this design. Um, but we are going to be building this one over here today. If you want me to build that one, go ahead and drop a comment down there and let me know that you guys want to see that. But for today, we're going to be building a section of this and maybe top and bottom and maybe one more over so I can just see, show you guys how all these connect. Actually, what we'll probably do is we'll build a section and then we'll build one of these corners so you can, guys can see how that works so you can wrap this around. Um, and basically the main features of this is we have chest here on both levels where we can uh, store all our stuff for trading. And these guys are locked in here via this glass. So what the glass does is it keeps them from being able to run beside each other. Um, it kind of locks them in place where they can't move around too much. So they always stay in the line and they're always able to access their uh, workstations. Um, so that is a super cool thing. You can see these guys are refreshing the trades. Um, and yeah, so that's the basic features here. Basically, we're going to trap their heads in glass and put them on a bottom half slab. That way they can't move. And then they will be able to just stay where they are and not be able to run around. And a couple more points to this. You can make this as small or as large as you want. You can make this a two by two, a four by four, a three by three, a eight by eight, eight long. It doesn't matter how however long you want to make this. Uh, this could just go all the way out to this side and you didn't have to section it off like I did. But I kind of like the four by four sections with four on the bottom and four on the top. And you can give them all different professions and trades and all that fun jazz. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this bottom one first. So uh, one more feature of this, you see we have lights behind to make sure it's lit up enough where nothing can spawn here. Bottom half slabs also to help with spawning. And if we go around to the back, all their beds are lined up here. Uh, the cats and golems are going to spawn around this, but they never have effects on our villagers. I've never seen a cat jump in here and like move these guys around or anything. I've never seen these guys ever escape. I've done a good bit of testing and building in this world and never seen it happen. So this should be 100% solid for you guys. Guys, before we get into the build part of this tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for 400 subscribers. Last time I checked it was $3.99, but hey, we'll go ahead and call it 400 because I'm sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button right now. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and you'll never miss a video from me aka bdp also hit that like button leave me a comment down below let me know how this farm worked for you guys and i let's go ahead and get this tutorial started so i'm just going to go over this way some and we're going to start building this and so what i would say is when you start out you want to put however many villagers you want to put in your section so for this section we're just going to build a four by four villager section and then put solid blocks at the end of each of these sections. And this is kind of what you're gonna need here for this build. You're gonna need some building blocks. You're gonna need some half slabs, some stairs. I like using brick walls. You could use um, fence posts or whatever you want for this build class even uh, for the accent walls. And then uh, you're gonna need some kind of lighting blocks. And I like to use chest on this. I, you can do it with or without chest. Um, so if you're going to go ahead and do without chest, you can just block this up right here and your villagers are going to go on this block. But we want to put chest here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop some chest right here, one there and one on top and then another row of chest right here and on top of that. And that's the start of our first little section here. Now what you want to do is just come across with a solid block, one more row of solid blocks and then your lighting blocks right here. Um, and now what you wanna do is you wanna make the section for where you're gonna put the uh, workstations. And we're just gonna make a little pattern just like this. And you'll put all your workstations here, right? Directly here. 
Um, now what you can do is, in order to load these guys, we're going to need solid blocks where their heads are going to be to begin with. So we're going to put a row of temporary solid blocks right there. Um, and that's going to be perfect. I'll show you why we need that in a second. But that looks really good. Now what we want to do is we want to put in our temporary pistons that we are going to use to push this class into their heads and lock them in place. So you're going to do something like this. You're going to put a piston pointing this way with a piece of glass on the inside of it. And then you can go ahead and grab your levers like I do here and just place a lever on the end. And we're just going to do this all the way down just like so. We need four pistons for this because we're doing four wide. Um, and then we're just going to put glass on each of those pistons and then a lever on each one. And whenever we break this block, we're going to flip this lever and our guy's going to fall in and we're going to trap him there. So that is how this works. Now, the reason we don't um, kind of like we have solid blocks here is because if we didn't have a solid block here, let's say we didn't have a solid block there and we dropped our villager in, there's a chance that he could run around. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Like if we drop our villager in and we don't really do anything for a second and we try to push in the block to like lock him in there, eventually he'll be able to run to the right and run out of our farm. So with solid blocks, he's not able to do that. Let me show you guys. So if we delete this guy and then break this and unflick that lever, and then we can place another right here and we can drop in our villager. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wrong one. If we drop in our villager now, you can see he can't really go to the right and he just kind of stays where he's at. He won't come forward really. He'll just kind of stay in that little pocket and that's exactly what we want. And if you wanted to, you could leave him just like this until you roll what trade you want. So uh, I didn't pick up the trade block, so let's just get lecterns for now. Uh, oh, place my glass, I'll have to grab that later, but that's fine. So as you can see, now we can place down the block and he will connect to that block. Um, he won't connect to the block if you don't have beds, but since I already have beds over here, he already registers this as a village. So the other thing you're gonna need for this build is beds, and I haven't picked that up quite yet. So I'm just gonna put down four beds right here. He'll link to one of those and we should be good to go. So those are four beds and our guys will link to those as we drop them into the system. But anyways, what I was trying to say is you can check their trades. If you don't like that trade, you can knock out this block and you can put another one in. Now it's a little hard to get back and forth. Maybe you don't wanna do these blocks when you're just placing blocks so you can walk under this, um, this here uh, thing. So. Again, you grab your block, wait till he changes, and then check his trades. And if you don't like them, you can just continually do this until you find the exact trade you want. Um, and then once you figure out exactly the trade you want, you can lock him in by trading with him, uh, by trading in paper or buying something with emeralds. Um, so sure, luck, luck of the C2 is fine for me. So that's our first villager in there, but if you are in uh, survival, then you won't be able to drop them in like I did. You're gonna have to do something a little different. So what I would say is go ahead and grab yourself. Uh, let me grab this glass again, sorry. So we have that in our inventory. Um, and then go ahead and grab yourself some rails and a minecart. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lead your guy right on top of that block. And what I normally do is I'll normally put one this way and one this way and then kind of push him into that corner. So if we put our minecart down and then we drop in a villager and we push him into place and then we push this kind of into place into that corner, just like that. Now what we can do is we can uh, kind of like see where this block is and you can knock the block out and he will fall down. You can t do that right there. You can get that and then boom, he's in. So that's how I normally load my villagers. If I'm in survival, I'm gonna do that right there. And then of course we can give him his workstation and then I would give them their workstation and load them one at a time and figure out exactly what trade you want. So that way you don't have the problems later of them trying to like get um, other uh, workstations and things and, and they'll just stay locked in. So again, same thing. You just run your down to the next one, just like this. Again, I would put little corners in so it's easier to push them into place. 
and you're just going to get your villager from whatever source and push them into place like that and then again you can break this block he'll fall straight down and you will push him in and this is exactly how you load your villagers they'll never be able to escape and you can always load in your thing and once we get all four of these villagers in we're going to put our half slabs back in at the bottom just to make it look nice um, so let's do this and then this will be our last villager that we are loading on this level so if we do that right there and then we can push him in just like oh, almost just like that and then push him into the spot get him right in that corner that might work we can push him in if we have to and then again we're just going to break this block he's going to fall straight down it's okay if they get stuck on that block like that you just break the minecart and then again push this in and all your guys are now locked in place you can get rid of all this they won't be able to move at all they can't come out of the front i don't think but you probably want to get your um lectern in there pretty quick and if you want to make sure that they never come out of the front um, while you're doing this process of rolling it might be smart to go ahead and put half slabs on top of this uh, it does make it a little harder to access them but it might be good while you're rolling while you're uh, breaking these blocks and putting them back in to have that little line there just as extra safety and precaution and then once you get them rolled like you like you can uh, get rid of that roll right there and you should be left with that and that is pretty much it for one level and we can go ahead and finish that off like this now what i'm going to do on either side this is purely just for show it's just um aesthetic i would say so you do not have to do this part if you don't want to but what i like to do is to add a little more texture to the build i will put a solid block there and then two um walls or fence posts to either side just like this um and then you could put solid blocks straight behind just like so on each side and it gives us something like that which gives us a little more texture and then once you get all your guys in here you can get rid of these rails and we actually want half slabs up here so um there will be half slabs right here and this is going to be where your next row of guys that are standing right on top of those half slabs and then you can put uh more slabs here just like so and you can just cap this off like that and then you can put slabs across the back now the reason i didn't fill in right above um these chest is because you want to be able to open this chest if you put a slab right here then this chest will no longer open so what you need to do instead is grab yourself some stair blocks and turn around and then what's probably easiest is to put one here and then look at the top part of that one and place your block just like that and then you can delete that block and you can put in back your half slab and now you can see we can open this chest and that will start the next part so then you will put your two chests right on top of that solid full block actually the stair that we just placed down so now you're going to put a chest here and you're going to put a chest on top of that and that starts your next section so we can do the same thing on this side we can just put in a temporary stair here and then one stair pointing just like this and then we can put another half slab there. And actually these are gonna be full blocks as well. All of these blocks, don't put them where I put them. Um, and then you can go ahead and go out one more row here if you like, like so. And then now what we're gonna do is we are going to put in uh, where our guys are gonna be putting their workstations. So if you do this, just like we did down there, you're gonna put your workstations in straight in this spot and then again you can extend it out like i did on either side again this slice on the side is not necessary at all these blocks aren't necessary for this build i just like the way they look i think it looks cooler so that's why i add them in and if you are want better spacing or whatever you want to do here this farm is actually uh this training hall is actually pretty pretty customizable so uh do whatever you guys like and um, that will be awesome. So now we're just gonna put solid blocks all the way across the back, just like we did on the bottom. And then we're gonna go one more row up on the back with solid blocks and then grab our lighting blocks. Uh, we probably still want our solid blocks and put the four lighting blocks in the middle like so. 
that looks perfect. And then two blocks to cap off the ends. And then we can go ahead and place in our beds if we want. So I like to put them at the same level as these lights. So I just put a temporary row of blocks like that, just like that. Um, and then you can put them in right here. So if we just drop in our beds, just like so, we don't actually need those lighting blocks. You can put lighting blocks behind your chest if you want, but I'm just gonna put solid blocks there. Um, and then you can actually break out these blocks. You don't need them anymore. Those can be floating beds and that will be your beds for your next row. So now what you're gonna do is I would probably start your staircase to go up. So what you're gonna wanna do is I would put a stair right here, actually one lower than that. So it's gonna be kinda hard to get it into that spot. But uh, yeah, that'll work. And then you're gonna put a stair here and then a stair right there. And that will just allow you to get up here. I think I did my stairs a little different on this model. Let's go check real quick. Uh, actually, yeah, I think I went in one more with it. So uh, you could do your stairs like this, or if you wanna do it exactly how I did it over there, what I did is this right here. And then I placed a stair there and a stair there. And then I think I made this a solid block. But again, do these stairs however you like. It's totally up to you guys. Again, this is just design here. However you want to make that work is totally up to you. And then I'm gonna make this a solid block now, um, just like so. On each side, we'll make those solid blocks. And then I'm gonna put my two walls again on the sides. Again, that is all aesthetics. However you wanna do that is totally up to you. So let's do the same thing on this side with the stair here and then stair on that solid block. Uh, sorry, one down from the solid block. So on this wall, put a stair and then one stair here. And then I just put a solid block here. And that should work for you to have a way to get up to your next level, just like this. Now, what we're gonna do is kind of the same thing we did down there, pretty much exactly the same thing. We're gonna put solid blocks here, just like so. And then you are gonna to wanna to grab your glass and your pistons, as well as your levers. So grab all that stuff. And now what you're gonna do is make sure you have a piston pointing this way. I just go out with three temporary blocks and then you can actually stand in this section, I believe. Uh, no, you can't get into that section, but you can turn right there and do that. And then you should be able to kind of Maneuver yourself where you can put all of these straight in. It's a little harder. You may want to do it from up here, but it may put, yeah, they're perfect. So just go on the roof and do that. It'll be a little easier for you guys. And then you're going to put your glass blocks on front of these, just like that. Hey, Mr. Dude, get off here. This isn't where you belong. He doesn't even know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, get out of here. All right. So yeah, put glass in this row just like that, just like we did below. And then again, you're gonna start laying your track and grabbing your cart. And you're just gonna lay track to the first block, just like so. And you could delete that one and then put in your corner blocks to make it a little easier to position. And then grab yourself a villager and run him straight up to that. And you can just push him right into place. And then again, you can kind of stand on this bottom half slab here and you should be able to, it might be easier to stand down here and then you'll be able to hit that block. And then if they don't go straight in, that's totally fine. Just kind of push them into that section. And then we haven't put in our levers yet. So let's throw those in real quick. Levers. And I would go ahead and push that lever in, break the minecart, and then you can start rolling these guys. And you can put a different type up here. So for up here, we're just gonna go with uh, the blast furnace dudes. So uh, just to show you how this works, you can put a blast furnace down and he'll take that profession. And now you can start trading with him, or you can go ahead if you like that roll and put in your next villager. 
and it's very simple guys same process as we did down there so i'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all of it um, in regular time and you'll see exactly how this works All right, now we can get rid of all of these pistons and we can get rid of these solid blocks for now. And then again, we wanna do the same thing with our stairs over here so we can open this chest is put an upside down stair in this configuration right here. We can delete that temporary stair and then another one right here, just like so. And then that should be perfect. And then what I do is I put solid blocks on the middle row here, just like this solid blocks and then you can put half slabs on this back row and then half slabs on the front and that is one section well if i could do the half slabs right that is one section all the way done and again you guys can use whatever block palette you want here i did went with kind of a boring block palette i must admit but hey you can do whatever block palette you want you don't have to do these side strips but it is nice to have a place to put your stairs and um, yeah, that is pretty much it. And you can actually walk through this doorway here. Ooh, maybe not. What I did before is I made it a little taller. So what you could do is you can move these stairs up one like this and then over like this and then go one more forward like this. Sorry guys. And then that way, now you can walk through this section and around if you like. So if we go just one higher with the stairs, it'll make that a little easier for you guys to be able to walk through. And uh, that will be good. So let's just move all these over one. All right, that'll give you something that looks kind of like this and then you will be able to walk through these spaces like so and then you can even block up this part if you like the way it looks better blocked up that's totally fine whatever design you want to do here is totally up to you guys but at least that way you have a little doorway where you can get through here and you can run from any side into it if you want that again do this part however you guys like if you like the stairs a little further in however you want to set up the stair part just as long as you can get up to the next row and that is pretty much it for that. So now what we need to do is we need to create the corners. And in order to do the corners, what I would do is put down three blocks. So we're gonna have three, three of our trading dudes in each corner. And then you're gonna put down solid blocks in these sections, just like this. Um, solid blocks there, and then three more blocks, just like so. And that should give you something that looks like this. Now what you can do is you can build up one more high here. And we'll actually leave this block here because we're gonna put some chests there. And then what you wanna do is you want to um, go ahead and put your lighting blocks in. Uh, we only need three lighting blocks here. And it should look something like that right now. Now, again, what you can do is you can put in your um, pistons and your glass and your solid blocks and all of that jazz. So let's put in three solid blocks right here. And then let's put in a piston right here, I believe. Like so, and then run three pistons straight across with three bits of glass. Now, for this one, I'm just gonna drop in my guys, um, but we are gonna go ahead and place a couple chests right here, like I do on screen. And then one chest on top of that one, just like so. All right, get rid of this block, and we're gonna start our next row of chests right here. So again, let's grab our chest and place them on top of each other, just like so. And then this is gonna be the corner where we'll put our fence or our wall. And then we'll just continue this on around like so. 
and just like that all the way around and then go one higher in the corners and then right here you're going to put your three lighting blocks and then you can cap that off there and again we can cap this off here put in that and then you can grab your um walls again and we're going to put our walls in this corner and a couple walls for detail here as well and you should have something that looks similar to this right here and we can add another block in right there and this is kind of your turn here. Sorry, go ahead and put a solid block right there. That'll probably look better. And then we're gonna actually move these out one more. So you're gonna put that for the guys to stand on and then one out here, just like that. And you should have something that looks like this. And we have the glass set up on this side. So let's go ahead and load in our villagers. I'm gonna do that um, with just dropping them in because it's a lot quicker so we can finish up this video a little faster. So I'm just gonna drop my guys straight in and they are all set up. Uh, again, we wanna do our stairs on top here. So grab your stair blocks and we can place a temporary one right here and a stair on top like that and a stair on top like that. Get rid of the temporary, run solid blocks um, around here like so. Um, and that should work. And now our next group is gonna stand right on top of these guys. And then the group after that is gonna stand on top of these guys, but let's go ahead and load them in. So we're gonna have to add our pistons in real quick. All right, this brings up a good point. We don't want babies in the system and we don't want nitwits in the system because nitwits can't trade and babies will just walk out of the system. So we can kill the babies and the nitwits. Um, you're gonna definitely want your guys to totally grow up before you put them in the system. And we can put in our last guy and give him his workstation and lock him in place. Now we're gonna continue our pattern here. Half slabs here, full blocks here, and we already have a full block there. And now we can go all the way around in a pattern just like this. Um, and we didn't put our beds in here. You are gonna wanna go ahead and put it in your beds. So uh, grab your beds. Let's put in three for the bottom row and then three for the top row. So one, two, three. Those guys will connect to those. One, two, three. And then we can put in our, we can go ahead and put our top row before we start building it. So just go out two like this. And then one, two, three. Get rid of those two blocks. And then we can do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, place our beds down. All right, now you should have something that looks like this. We can get rid of these pistons and you should have something that looks like this for your corner. And that looks good. Now we can go ahead and start building up this next section. So again, go around with one more full box of solid, just like this. That looks good. And we can grab our chest again and we can stack our chest in the middle again, like we did there. So one chest here, one chest here. And then you can go ahead and grab your walls again and put in your accent walls, go ahead and put them in where you need to. So we need one here and then two here. Then we can cap off all these spots. And that looks pretty good. Now we are gonna need our lanterns again. Then on top of all this, you can put half slabs. And in the center, we wanna do our stair trick again. So grab your stairs, temporary block here, upside down stair right there, upside down stair right there, break that one and we can put a solid block there. And then we can finish this off with solid blocks for now. Um, actually, we're gonna load in our villagers first before we put those in, but that looks good. Now, again, you want to take your um, your half slabs and these you want to start right here and you want to kind of go in a little square like this 
and we'll just cap that off there for now. Put in a solid block there, and now we're ready to put in our pistons for this row. All right, now I'm gonna drop in these guys. All right, that looks good. We can get rid of all of these and we can finish off our solid blocks in that section. Now we can continue over this section and put in our pistons. All right, now we can finish off this section with solid blocks all the way down to here. And we can put our half slabs around here if you like, just like I do on screen. Uh, except for that one and then you have your corner section all built and now you can build another one of these sections right next to this one so i'll just start this one i'm not going to build the whole section but i'll show you guys how you would start it similar to what we did before um but we want to put a solid block right here and this is where we're going to put our first set of chests um so grab yourself a solid block put it right here Put um, a couple chests on top of that one. That's where our first row of chests are gonna go. And four, and then another solid block. And then you can put your chest right here. And then of course, this is gonna be for your next section of villagers. And you're just gonna build this straight out like this. And you can put your stairs in right here. So what I do is I just grab my stairs and I place one here and then another stair right here. Break this out, stair on that block, and then a stair going up straight like this. And you can put in solid blocks here if you like. And that is your corner block with stairs. And then, of course, like I said, you're just going to build in this section here. And you're just going to come out with your spots like that. And then you're going to do another fence over here. Like so. And just to give you the full visual, we'll drop in the lights on this one. And then everything else for this one is exactly the same. You're gonna again put your stairs over here, just like we did on that one. You're gonna place in your stairs all the way up to this solid block on top. And you're gonna build in your second layer. And that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, I'm not going to build out this whole layer because you guys should know how to do it by now. But uh, you'll drop in all your villagers, you'll put in their workstations, and then you'll build the layer on top of that. And you can continue this forever as long as you like. Um, and that is pretty much it, guys. If you did like this video, please like, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the love. We're almost to 400 subscribers. Last time I checked, it was $3.99. So it may be 400 now. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Leave a like, leave a comment down low, below. Let me know how this works for you guys. And this should work perfectly fine. All your guys should connect up correctly um, and you should be good to go. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and let me know. But this is your training hall and that's how you build it. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.